Hi Yogi, it's Bri. In this FitFlow class, we're gonna work the core. One of my favorite things to work on, but also one of my least favorite. <laughs> I'm sure you can relate. We'll work the core from a reclined position, from an upside down position, from plank, all sorts of ways. Hope you enjoy. All right, Yogi, we're going to start this one on our backs. And I typically say, uh, if you get excited about starting on your back because you think it's relaxing, in my classes, it usually means we're going to start with core work. <laughs> so that's exactly what we're going to do. Draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Keep your right knee in and extend your left leg forward. The left heel is almost on the ground, left foot is flexed. Now I want you to extend your right leg straight up towards the sky and if this is just not possible, the hamstring's really tight, you can keep the knee bent in an L shape for all of this core work. Now interlace all of your fingers with the thumb and the index. Make a peaceful yogi gun. Hopefully you won't want to shoot me with it after this. Reach the arms overhead as you inhale and exhale, lift up and twist towards the right. Inhale, just reach the arms overhead, keep the head lifted. Exhale, come to center. Now inhale, drop the head all the way back, arms overhead, switch legs and exhale to the left. That's one round. Inhale, drop back, exhale to center. Inhale, drop back, just with the arms, exhale, switch legs to the right. Inhale, just the arms reach, exhale to center. Inhale, drop the head all the way back, exhale, switch legs to the left, that's three. Inhale, just the arms drop back, exhale to center. Inhale, switch legs, head drops back, exhale to the right, that's four. Inhale, arms just reach, exhale to center. Inhale, drop all the way back, switch legs, exhale to the left. Left. That's five. Halfway there. Inhale, just reach the arms. Exhale to center. Inhale, drop all the way back. Switch legs. Exhale to the right. That's six. More than halfway. Inhale, just arms. Reach. Exhale to center. Inhale, drop head back. Exhale, switch legs. Lift to the left. Inhale, just the arms. Exhale to center. Inhale, drop head all the way back. Switch legs. Exhale, twist to the right. Was that seven or that's eight? Inhale, drop the arms just back. Exhale, lift to center. Inhale, drop back, switch legs. Exhale, twist for nine, you're almost there. Inhale, reach just the arms, heads lifted. Exhale to center. Inhale, drop all the way back. Exhale, twist to the right as you switch legs and that's 10, hug your knees into your chest. Ooh, I don't know about you, but my core is already warm. Hug those knees into the chest, rock from side to side along the low back muscles. Then hold on to your hamstrings and begin to rock up and down along the length of your spine here. A couple of times until you can rock straight up into Uttanasana without using your hands. Feet hips distance and fold down. Just like we've been doing in all of our fit flows together, this first round is going to be a bit slower. Just getting you introduced to the poses. Grab a hold of opposite elbows. Not just getting you introduced to the poses, but also getting your body introduced to them. Opening up the back body here, lift those quadriceps, press the outer hips back. Take a deep breath, sigh it out. Release your arms down, put a little bend in the knees, inhale, rise all the way up towards standing. Gaze up as the palms touch, exhale, hands to your heart. Bring your big toes to touch, a little space between the heels. Bend the knees, inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Reach the arms up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, plant your palms, step back into that plank position. Now, hands underneath the shoulders. Spread the shoulder blades, draw the navel in towards the spine. You want to keep this plank position in your entire body as we begin to transition down to our forearms. Take your right forearm down and your left forearm down. Hold here in your forearm plank. Pull your elbows back towards your feet so you feel like your belly bites. Now bring your feet together, spin to the pinky toe edge of your right foot, reach your left arm up. Side plank on that right forearm. Now inhale, stretch the left fingertips to the sky, and then exhale, bring that left hand down underneath the right side of the body and use it to help you lift. You're not actually physically using it, but just the action of lifting the right side body away from the ground. Now inhale, do that lift of the hand again, and exhale, bring it in. Three more. Inhale, left arm lifts. 
Exhale, lift that right side body. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, lift the right side body. One more. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, right side body lifts as high as you can. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, back into that forearm plank. Then, feet together, spin to the pinky toe edge of your left foot. Just do the other side. Reach your right arm up. Inhale, right fingertips reach to the sky. Exhale, hips lift as that right hand comes underneath the left side body. Inhale, reach just five total. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. Two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. Last one. Inhale, reach. And exhale, scoop. Inhale, reach. Right forearm comes down all the way to the belly. Pull your hands towards your feet. Find a nice soothing sphinx pose. And exhale, lower all the way to the forehead as you move your hands back underneath the elbows. Inhale, lift the heart up into up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feeling nice and warm now from all of that upper body and core work. Now we'll move it forward. Find a solid foundation in your hands. So root down through your index finger knuckles. Lift the forearms, but spread the collarbones and the shoulder blades equally. Draw the ribs in and inhale, reach your right leg up and back. Bend the knee, open the hip. Exhale, right knee to the nose. So just like plank pose, bring the nose towards the knee, round. Inhale, reach up and back. Straight right leg this time. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Bring it up as high as you can. Feel those obliques you just worked. Inhale, reach up and back. Now for the hardest. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. But try not to twist your left hip to the left too much. Now extend your right leg over for my favorite Brigitte's cross. Spin to the big toe edge of your left foot and reach your left arm up. So it's not quite a fallen triangle because we're going to bring that right knee in. Now, at first I want you to place your right knee down like you're doing a modified side plank. Really have your right shoulder over your right wrist. Make sure you're in the right position with your left foot firmly on the ground. Inhale and exhale. Take that left hand behind your head. Find some length. Push down through the right hand. Inhale and exhale. Lift your right knee up and bring your right knee to the left elbow. Inhale. Put it down. Exhale, lift. That's two. We'll just do five. Inhale. Put it down. Exhale. Lift for three. Inhale, put it down. Exhale, lift for four. Inhale, put it down. Last one. Exhale, lift for five. You got it. Inhale, put that right knee down. Lift the left arm up. Come to the ball of your left foot as you put your left hand down. And just flip your dog over. Stretch what you just worked. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, right knee draws in. And you step that right foot all the way to the front of the mat. Right parallel to that left hand. Place your left knee down onto the ground. Inhale, rise up. Anjane, which is always a great counter for core work. Pull that right heel back towards the back of the mat. Lift the back ribs. Find some lift with Mula Bandha drawing in and up. Inhale, gaze up as the palms touch. Exhale, take your fingers down. Straighten your right leg. Come onto your left knee. Flex your right foot for Ardha Hanumanasana. Now we're going to create a little bit of a repetitive flow here. Three rounds. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold into your Ardha Hanumanasana. Then inhale, flat back. Come up onto your fingertips. Round your upper back and see if you can lift that right heel up off the ground. Try as a keyword. Then from here, set it down and step right up on your right foot. Lift the left leg. Come into your standing splits. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back into that Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Round the upper back. Come onto the fingertips. Exhale, lift that right leg up. And then step into standing splits. Grab the right ankle with the right hand. Pull the forehead in. Last one. Step back into that Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, flat back. Right leg straight. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, round the upper back. Exhale, command that right leg off the ground. And then step up onto that right foot. So as we start to flow, this third round of the rep, reps is going to be that handstand hop. But first, I want to just break it down a little bit for you. Plant your palms flat down underneath the shoulders. Your gaze is down between your hands, not back at the foot. Arms are straight. When you hop, you want to think about keeping the hips squared and lifting that bottom leg up in to the hip socket. Instead of flailing the legs about, keep your legs super straight. Try that two more times. When you hop, you exhale. And then you vinyasa. Any way you like. Step back, float back, jump back, flail back, hopefully not. Downward facing dog. Now let's do that left side, doing a great job. Inhale, left leg reaches up and back. Bend the knee, open the hip. Exhale, knee to nose. So bring that knee forward, shoulders over wrist. Try to tap the knee to the nose, round the upper back. Inhale, reach straight up and back this time. Exhale, left knee, left tricep as high as you can. Use those strong obliques. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Try not to let the right hip twist with you. Then extend the left leg towards the right. Now, spin to the pinky toe edge of that, or big toe edge of that right foot. Reach your right arm up, kind of like a fallen triangle. From here, bring that left knee in. So you're on that left shin, right underneath the hip, like a supported side plank. Take your right hand behind your head. Inhale fully, push into the left hand. Exhale, elbow to knee. Crunch. Inhale, back to the kickstand. Exhale, elbow to knee. Two. Just three more. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. Three. Inhale. Exhale, four. You got it. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, five. Good. Inhale. Reach that right arm up. Left knee comes back down. Exhale. Right hand down. Now spin to the pinky toe edge of your right foot. Flip your dog over. Lift the heart up nice and high. And now use the core. Exhale. Step your left foot all the way to the front of the mat. Right knee comes down. Inhale. Rise up. Anjaneyasana. Remember to pull that left foot back towards the back of the mat. Lift the inner thighs up into the perineum so you're finding Mula Bandha. Inhale. Gaze up as the palms touch. Exhale, hands come down. Straighten your left leg. You're on that right knee. Ardha Hanumanasana. Now we're going to do three rounds of that same kind of flowy flow back and forth. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale, flat back, but round the upper back. Exhale, try to kick yourself in the head with your toe tips. Then step up onto your left foot. Grab that left ankle as you reach the right leg up. Standing splits. Drop the right foot back, right knee down, straighten the left leg, inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. Inhale, round the upper back, exhale, lift that left leg off the ground, step onto the left foot, lift your right leg up now, standing splits. Last one, step back, right knee down, left leg straight, inhale, flat back, exhale, hamstring stretch. Inhale, flat back, round the upper back though. Lift that left leg off the ground, exhale. Now step onto your left foot, plant your palms flat, lift the right leg and take a few hops to that handstand. Remember, gaze between your hands, lift that left thigh bone up as you hop and keep your legs super straight. When you're done, take it back any way you like through the vinyasa. Downward facing dog. That is one full round. Now we're going to start that second round and we're going to start flowing and moving together. Look forward. Bring your feet together. Rise high to the toes. Bend the knees. Now we're going to jump through to seated. If you don't quite make it, you can just sit down and bring your legs forward. From seated, lie all the way down. Draw your right knee in. Extend your left leg forward. Extend your right leg up or keep the leg bent. Inhale, reach the arms overhead with that peaceful yogi gun. Ten rounds. Exhale, lift up to the right. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale to center. Inhale, arms reach. Switch legs. Exhale to the left. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale to center. Now inhale, you can drop your head back. Switch legs. Exhale to the right. That's three. Inhale, just arms. Exhale to center. Inhale, drop the head, switch legs. Exhale to the left. That's four. Inhale, arms. Exhale to center. Inhale, drop the head. Exhale to the right. Five. Inhale, keep your head up. 
exhale to center. Inhale, drop your head, switch legs, exhale to the left. That's six, almost there. Inhale, exhale to center. Inhale, switch legs, exhale to the right. That's seven, inhale, exhale to center. Inhale, switch legs, exhale to the left. Eight, just two more, you got it, inhale. Exhale to center, inhale, switch legs, exhale to the right, nine, inhale, exhale to center, inhale, switch legs, exhale to the left, four, 10, hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze and rock and roll straight up into Uttanasana, forward folds. Inhale, rise up, exhale, hands to your heart.